You're watching 3 Pound Fishing, sponsored by these great companies. What's up folks, we're back out here on the water and today's topic is gonna be, what's the perfect length pole for live scope? So a lot of people have gotten live scope and we're finding an advantage of getting just maybe a foot, two foot more out there so that we're not getting too close to the pile. So obviously the depth of the fish is gonna affect that greatly. So if you've got fish that are less or more than nine foot, honestly, I think a 10 foot would be great. But if you've got fish that are less than nine feet, I think that having an 11 or a 12 so that you don't have to get necessarily up on those fish would be also a great advantage. So today, what I've got from ACC Crappie Stick, I've got the 10 footer, which is by far the best rod in the world. The 10 footer, I love the length. The 10 foot pole is my favorite. I cast with it, I jig with it, I do it all. It doesn't really matter. But I also have the 11 footer, okay? And then, surprise, lo and behold, I have the 12 footer. We're gonna fish with all of them today. And all of our piles are gonna be roughly around that 15 foot mark. So I'm gonna let you know what I think would be the perfect length pole for those type of spots. Now, I don't typically jig over anything less than nine foot. So I think just right up front, I think you can get away with a 10 footer. But I'll tell you what, I've been using the 11 foot a lot lately. Even in that crab orchard tournament video that you saw, it was primarily the 11 footer. I'm getting very, very comfortable with it for jigging. I'm not gonna cast with it. I'm not gonna throw a float with it. It's purely my live scope killer, okay? Now, I've got this 12 footer. This will be the first time I've ever used a 12 foot jigging over a pile. I've always complained that they're just a little bit too heavy. We're going to see if that holds out, but regardless. So this video is going to be a lot about live scope because that's what we're doing. We're picking the number one pole length, the number 10, the 11, or the 12 footer for live scope, which is ideal. We're going to use the Garmin um, Active Captain, okay? So we're going to program it up. Um, let's get it up. Before we even get on this pile, I'm going to show you what we're seeing here, okay? If you remember the live scope uh, tips and tricks, maximize your depth, your forward. Let's put that thing right in the heart of it. That's crucial. So, what a 12 footer allows you to do is definitely put it on spot lock. Especially if you have a win. Hopefully we'll see if it holds us here. Should be able to bring us right back to our spot. And with a 12 footer, you can just simply put it out there with warm. Feel like I have the tactile feel that I normally have. That's a little guy. Definitely weighs a little too much, but we'll keep trying it. But that, you reach out there. That's what's nice about it. All right, so I have these fish out here at 10 foot. Let's see what we can do. This is a 12 footer. This is the advantage that it's supposed to give us is that we can reach out there. That's a good fish. Still working with a 12 footer. I can tell you that it just feels different for me. It might be for some people. I think people would, I think some people might like it. Some people might like it. 
but it is definitely a heavier heavier pole and you just have to get used to holding it obviously um, as deep as I'm fishing I don't know if a 12 footer right off the bat now I don't know if I need a 12 footer and it's actually taking a little time to get used to how far it reaches out there it reaches out there roughly around 10 foot That's our best fish off the 12 footer. Not that the size actually matters that much lengthwise. It really doesn't. Um, to me, it's just a, it's a comfort thing right now. And I can tell you that that's a good fish. Um, I can tell you right now that 12 just seems really heavy. And it might be the wind thing today. I mean, we have about a 12 mile an hour wind and that's definitely playing a factor on the poles. And I think most people would agree with that. So you have a big wind, this might not be the length that you would want while you're live scoping. So consider that into the factor. I didn't think about that actually before I started. So it's kind of interesting. So let's go on to the 11. We're gonna move spots, get out of the wind a little bit, go to the 11, try it out. Maybe that's not comparing apples to apples necessarily, but I can tell you that the weight difference between a 12 and 11, and I know Andy's gonna tell me it's only this, but I can tell you I can feel it. And I can feel the length of the pole and um, it's just something I'm not accustomed to. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of newer stuff coming out that's gonna be lighter in that length just because of live scope. But right now I'm gonna go to the 11, then we're gonna go to the Stealthy 10, which is my pole. All right, so here we go. We've got the 11 footer. This is a lot more manageable, in my opinion, as we speak. I might change my mind. Right, we're dropping down. All right, 11 footer, here we go. A lot of fish in the area. I can already tell on the live scope. I'll show you that image. It's ridiculous. Try to stay back. We are kind of in the middle of the day. Sun is high, so it'll be interesting to see if these fish are going to bite. Or what it's going to take them to bite. Tell you what, an 11 foot, whoop, that's a small fish, but 11 foot is feeling really good to me that lately. Um, I can't wait to get that 10 footer in me, in my hand. You know, the advantage obviously is the length, but you gotta consider the weight. And if it's a windy day, boy, those long poles take on a lot of wind. It's kind of like a sail. You mark my word, the manufacturers will be coming out with longer poles, lighter poles, anything to get you away from that trolling motor. But I can tell you this, that once you're nine foot and lower, it really doesn't matter. I think some people are gonna feel more comfortable with a longer pole, but a 10 pole, a 10 footer is a, is a, is a good length pole. That's a little bluegill there. I wish this was easier without the wind. Wind drives me nuts, folks. Too much of it anyway. I don't mind a little bit. But it drives me nuts. This is what we're doing today. We're doing a single minnow setup. We've got our number three clasp, our number seven split shot, and then our number four hook right now. And we put that on a clear line below that ball swivel. 
ultra clear or high vis definitely on top i just want to see some movement if i got a shot at it i want to see it that way too there is a there is a ton of fish down here that's amazing how many fish are down there so right there you know the fish look like they're starting at 12 foot i'm just going to put it on spot lock and i think i can just put up like a pendulum and just throw it out there and let it swing back and probably catch them all day long at least that's what it looks like so that's my first pendulum i throw it out there about with 14 foot of line basically and i let it just swing back to me Good fish, good fish, just little, little little guys right now. It's weird. I see. I think this is the type of spot, based on these images from LiveScope, you'll see them here. Um, you can pretty much count on catching a limit. Uh, they don't seem to be very big, although I do see some big ones in there. All right, that's the 11-footer. I got to admit, I kind of like it. The 10-footer is my favorite, and I'm going to stick with that, but we're going to try the 10-footer next and uh, see if I can hold to that statement. We'll see. Because I'll tell you, the 12, a little heavy. 11, seems to be a good mix. Number 10, might be stealthy, kind of like a sports car. So, any, anytime you're fishing below nine foot, we're gonna see. So, I think everybody's gonna like one, one or the other, feel more comfortable with it. Um, and that's a big thing, feeling comfortable with the, with the fishing pole that you have in your hand and how far you're away from the, from the brush line. You know, I primarily fish brush piles that are, you know, more than 10 foot deep, so it's not a big deal. But I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that fish brush piles that are 7 or an 8 deep. So for that reason, I can see why you want to get to an 11 and 12 completely. So I see the advantages of it for sure. All right, so I've always loved a 10-footer. Why do I love a 10-footer? People are like, why are you casting with a 10-footer? I feel comfortable casting, not casting and drawing back, but casting a float. And I think a 10-footer is just an all-around perfect fishing machine. Um, you'll see that I have, I have multiple 10-footers in my boat. Um, a 10-footer is the most versatile fishing rod I can imagine. It's the only rod, if I had to choose one, it's definitely the one I would have in my boat. Um, so favorite blank, 10 foot, without a doubt. So we're going to try it, and I think that it's going to be completely effective. I know it is. It'll be completely effective. Anything less, anything more than 10 foot, 9 foot down. Um, it's going to get us away far enough. It's comfortable. It's stealthy. It's light. Gosh, you can't beat it, folks. With that said, I think the 11 foot is very close right now. 12 foot, a little heavy, just a little, <laughs> just a little heavy, and maybe just a little, uh, kind of like a wind sock.
They are stacked down here. talk about you know fish being schooled together in size this whole pile is just a bunch of big ones we're gonna catch one more they're gonna leave but that's a fantastic fish you know it's the tactile feel of a 10 footer and an 11 footer and it could be that you know you just feel I, I'm used to it I think that people probably get used to a 12 footer too but um I can definitely feel the bite better with a 10 footer for sure, which makes sense. That's a good fish. Man, that's a good fish. Let's measure that one, folks. Man, that's a good fish. All right, that's 13 and a half. All right, that's 13 and a half. Great fish. I'm just gonna tell you that the length has to do with what your preference is. I like a light pole. So a number 10, a 10 footer, an 11 footer. I'm sure they're gonna be coming out with a lot of new stuff at ICAST this year. But regardless, let me change that bad boy around. Um, light is better. And I still think the 10 and the 11 footer, anytime you're fishing less, or anytime you're fishing lower than nine foot, 9, 10, 11, 15 foot, what you name it, anything less, anything more than 9 foot, go for the 9, 10 and 11 footer. It seems to be the best. I think you can get away with a 12 footer if you're going to be shallower, but we're going to have to, we're going to work on some specs there for sure. That's a haul. Let's let it go. We'll try one more pile after this. I'll give that 12 footer one more shot. Check out the merchandise, 3poundfishing.com. If you're interested in a guided trip, look at 3poundfishing at gmail.com. You can also call me at 618-694-5162. Give me a shout. We're going to put some slabs in the boat. All right, just because I feel bad, I'm going to go back and we're going to do another brush pile with the 12 footer. This I'm just curious. So. Hey, great techniques. Use live scope if you've got it. Let me tell you, it's a game changer. <laughs> it's the biggest game changer. Um, I love it. I love it. Still got to have uh, side imaging, no doubt about it, to find your structure, all that great stuff. So find out the find the great side imaging unit. You, typically, 10 inches works the best. I think most anything smaller than that is yeah, nine inch okay, but 10 inch. And don't forget, when you're looking at the live scope as well, the 10 inch, that's the minimum, in my opinion. All right, we're giving the 12 a rip, the 10 a chip. We're gonna give it a try. I've caught some really big fish here. You never catch a lot, but you catch big fish when you do fish here. Let's see if the 12 can bring it in. We're gonna go with the big minnow.
<laughs> That's hilarious. I saw this big fish on this log and I turned around just to get it. And there it is right there. That's a good size fish right there. Man, I love the 12. I love the 11. I like the 10. I'm going to, I'm voting the, I'm going to always vote the 10 folks. I just, that's what I'm used to. That's what I like. And uh, I'm starting to use the 11 a lot more. I don't think I'm there yet for a 12, but bam, that's what the 12 just did. So, you know, they all catch fish. Bam, I'm talking about. That's what old SK says. Good day. We got kids at the house. We gotta go take care of them. We gotta go feed them. Bunch of little girls, about 15 years old, having a party tonight.